guys, I just wanted to make a quick little video to address lids, um, tank lids. For example, if you're like most of us when we're first starting out our hermit crab journey, if we do have a tank that we get for the hermit crabs, most of them are mesh lids, right? And we want to make sure that we have a completely sealed tank. Hermit crabs have modified gills so they need a certain amount of moisture inside the tank. We know that spraying and misting inside the tank only stresses the crab, so we don't want to do that at all. So we already know that they need five parts play sand and one part cocoa fiber completely mixed, and they need salt and freshwater pools, both with bubblers, so that they can help with the humidity inside the tank. Now, we want to cover the lid. Now, how can we do that? So this lid is mesh. So what you can do safely is add plastic wrap, just wrap it a few times um, over the top, not under because hermit crabs will climb on the lid and they will eat the plastic. We wanna avoid that. So you just want to do a few rows. So you wanna cover the whole lid so you're just doing all the top and then you can just use regular clear packing tape, black packing tape, whatever you want. And you're just going to tape around the lid um, over the plastic wrap, okay? Now we know heat lamps are not safe for our hermit crabs. They create hot spots inside the tank. So we want to use a regular aquarium um, LED light um, I use these hogger lights, which is great because they have timers so the crabs have daylight cycle settings. So, which is perfect because we're set at 12 hours day, 12 hours night, um, and that's what they need. So now these lights do not produce any heat whatsoever, which is okay and it's safe to put over the top of the plastic wrap. This one in particular um, has these little suction cups. So if you have, for example, a lid that has plastic on it, a hood um, lid. You don't need to worry about that because then you can put it towards the front. This one is a little old. It has tape marks, but this is just a PPDS tank or um, isolation tank for emergency purposes only. So, um, so once you cover the lid with the tape and the plastic wrap and you add your light just like this, you can take a children's blanket like this. This is one of my daughter's old blankets. Um, she's big now, so she doesn't use this. So what I did was just put it over the top, pinch it. You want to insulate the back with um, reflective insulation, just like this um, that I have on the other tanks. So you can keep everything in, the moisture and the humidity. We don't want to put um, any of that insulation on the top for some reason it does zap out the humidity inside the tank so just the plastic wrap is fine you can use cardboard if you want to use cardboard as well just cover it and tape the sides that'll work just the same okay so I just wanted to come on and just show you guys how to cover your lids and make them safe this way you have the proper humidity inside the tank I opened it so it did go down a little bit, um, but this is pretty much it. You want to make sure you have a gauge off of the substrate at the center of the tank so you can get an accurate reading of what it is inside. Okay, this is it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful.